podcast episode, a little bit about my birthday coming up in uh, two days as of right now. It'll be like in a day and a bit from when this video goes live, I believe. But it's two days away for me right now. And uh, I was talking about how, uh, how a year is just not that much time, you know? And I want to I wanna explain my side there, right? I want to explain. I want to ramble about this a little bit. I want to talk about this a bit, okay? Because uh, to me, you know, when I was, uh, when I was, I don't know, 14, we'll say, right? And somebody was like, yeah, I've been working here for like a year. Right, when I was when I was 14 years old, I had a job at Tim Hortons, as I've, as I've mentioned before. And uh, people, you know, people would say like, oh, I've been here for a year. I've been here for two years. And to me, it was like, wow, that's a long time. You've been here a long time. Like, wow, that's nuts, you know. Whereas, uh, whereas now, it's it's just um, somebody's like, oh, I've been here a year. I'm like, oh yeah. How you liking it so far? You know. Like that's still like you're still a newbie. You know what I mean? Like it's it's nothing. And uh, I think I think that's partially because I just I have been alive longer. So, you know, when, you, when you're 14 years old, a, a year is, is one fourteenth of your life. That's like, what, um, 7% of your entire life or something like that? Wait, 7? Yeah, about 7% of your life, like 7.2 or something, right? 70, and then you got the 28. Yeah, about 7.2% of your entire life, like just under, like 7.18 or 7.17 or something. Um... Of your entire life, right? You know, like that's that's huge. It's it's, it's almost ten percent of your life. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 substantial. Uh, when I'm when you're twenty five, all of a sudden a year is like a fourth of your life. It's like, yeah, a year isn't that long. It's just, it's not that long. You know what I mean? Like if I have to wait a year for something, that's not that long. You know, and and the, the context matters too, right? Like if, uh, if I'm like dating somebody or whatever, and he's like, "All right, I have to go to like New York for a year," I'm like, "Ouch, that's that's like a really long time to to not be able to to see you," you know. But if I'm like, "Yeah, I have to wait a year until I'm like happy," I'm like, "Dude, that's nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a year, and then I'll be happy." And then I have like, you know, 60 years to go. You know what I mean? Like, it's uh, it's nothing. It, it, it's it's completely nothing. And um, you know, time itself just, just starts to lose its uh, lose its value as you as you get uh, as you get older. I think, and uh, you have to kind of. I'm not even that old. You know, when you get to like 50, like a year. Oh yeah, I've had a few of those. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. I don't know. It's it's like uh, it's like with anything, right? Like with anything, the more you have of it, the less it is, the, the less valuable it is. You know, when you're getting uh, when when you learn a new boss in a in a video game or something like that, your first kill, dude, I killed it. I I did it. I won. When on your when you're your hundred and first kill, you're like, ah, eh, nothing, got nothing, shoot, you know. It's just it, it loses that meaning. That's that special meaning. It's individual. It it loses you know that. The power of the individuality of it is is gone. It's, it's just lost entirely. And uh, the older you get, the uh, the easier it is. And I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing for you to value time less, as long as it's not. I mean, it, it doesn't happen to the point where you're like, yeah, I'm okay with getting paid less for my time because my time is worth less. You know what I mean? Like, no. But you you put less value on a year, as uh, as you as you've lived more years. I think. I mean, I do anyway. I can definitely notice it in my in my past, in my in my life that I've uh, I've definitely grown to to put less value on a year than I than I did previously. And I, I still like and uh, I don't know. I I value my time more. You know, like I I expect more pay for my time these days than I did back then. Um, you know, like my hourly wage expectations are, are higher. The, the minimum wage is also higher, so there's that. But it's kind of because, uh, you know, back then I also had no money. So, like, my first money was also like, wow, money. Uh, and my first years were like, wow, years, you know. And then 
I got a lot more money than I did years. And, uh, they didn't, they didn't really scale together, you know what I mean? <laughs> so. But, uh, that, that doesn't really make sense in the analogy, I guess, but like, whatever, dude. Whatever. The, the moral of the story is that, uh, I value, uh, I don't value a year as much, but I value my time as, I, I value my time more, I guess. How I spend my time matters more to me now. But, um... A year doesn't feel as long, I guess, is, is the way that I would I would explain it. Because, um, yeah. I do value my time where I want to make sure that I'm spending my time wiser. Uh, than I did before. But I also don't find a year to be very long. Like, if you worked at a, a job for a year, I don't find that to be a long time, as I used to. Because to me, back then, a year was a long time. Because it just... I didn't have a lot of years under my belt. I didn't. I didn't have the the, the quantity of time that you have to have spent on this earth to, to be able to, to say that a year isn't very long. You know, when you're like five years old, that's twenty percent of your life. People are like, oh yeah, just wait a year. But I don't want to wait a year. That's like forever. And when you're twenty-five, you're like, oh yeah, we'll have that in a year, and you're like, oh yeah, hit me up. I can hold off. See you, dude! I'm out of here. Oh, I wanted that to go up there, though. I hear stuff behind me. We're pushing forward. We're pushing forward, dude. We're pushing forward. Smack. You what? <laughs> Did I, uh, smack him? Nah, I didn't smack him. You didn't get the smack on. You didn't get it. Anyway, I'm 25 in, uh, in two days is the, uh, is the thing. My parents were asking me about what we wanted to do for dinner. I think I talked about it. Um, but they were like, well, you want steak, right? You're going to have steak for dinner. Like steak and lobster. We're going to have steak and lobster for dinner. You want to go to a restaurant? You have this? I'm like, no. No. Like, I, I really could just go for, like, chicken and waffles. I would be happy with, with chicken and waffles. And they're like, we can't have chicken and waffles for your birthday. That's not enough. You have to have steak. I'm like, I really don't want steak. <laughs> I really don't want steak. Like, well, you have to have you have to have something for your dinner. You can't just have chicken and waffles. Like, I want chicken and waffles. What do you, what do you mean? I'm not allowed to want chicken and waffles. That's what I want. Make me chicken and waffles, dang it! Or just ignore it and just make a normal dinner. I'm probably not gonna like whatever you make anyway. But so uh, <laughs> then uh, we we finally agreed that okay, we'll do chicken and waffles, right? And I don't I don't generally like the my parents cooking. It's it's not really that good. Um, they typically overcook stuff. My mother especially. Um. She's, she's super big on making sure that stuff is cooked and not raw. Which means that um, she aims for burnt <laughs> rather than cooked, you know? Rather than, you know, temping it and being like, yeah, that's right. Pulling it out at the right temperature. She's like, uh, yeah, that looks burnt. We're good, <laughs> basically, you know? Like, it's, uh, it's, just, it's not good. It's not good. We had steaks yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? It was yesterday. We had steaks yesterday. And, uh, like, they were, like, tough and, like, chewy and, like... Just not very good. <laughs> um, so I, don't, I don't like their cooking. They don't like cooking, right? Like, they... I've talked about it before, but they don't like cooking. You know? So it's like, I, I understand. It's, it's okay. You don't like cooking. I don't like... You know, like, my car is a piece of garbage. I don't like working on cars. I'm not going to put in the time to, like, put in the time or the money to, like, make sure that my car's doors are the same color as the rest of my car. Because I just, I don't care. Um, and, you know, it's kind of where they're at with uh, with cooking. Because they're just like, I just, I don't care. And they, they just, like, they like eating good food. But they just, they don't care about, uh, the, about the cooking part, right? My father does, to a certain extent. Um, but he doesn't really cook that often. And then also, he does also tend to overcook things quite a lot, especially steaks, um, and, well, anything. Yeah, they're overcooked or undercooked, so the veggies tend to be undercooked, way undercooked, and then the, uh, the meat tends to be way overcooked, and I'm like, just, uh, meat in the middle. <laughs> meat, meat in the middle. Um, anyway, moral of the story is I don't really like their cooking. They don't like cooking, it's okay. It's okay that I don't like their cooking, because they don't like cooking, right? I love cooking. I find it to be, uh, very fun and very rewarding, and, um... So I, uh, I, hap I will happily spend the time and the energy and the effort and the research and the, 
the investment to make sure that I'm doing it uh, to the best extent that I possibly can because uh, I enjoy that. And if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to put in that same kind of time. So it's okay, but I don't like their cooking. It's the moral of the story. Anyway, so yeah, we, we decided on chicken and waffles for my birthday dinner eventually because I'm like, I just give me homemade ramen, give me chicken and waffles, or like ignore it. And just don't make anything. I'm like, if, you, if we're going to do steak and lobster, then I have to be the one that cooks. Like, well, you can't cook for your own birthday. Like, well, don't do steak and lobster then, because it's not going to be good if you make it. You're just going to be wasting money. You know, you guys go do it, but I don't want it. <laughs> um, but uh, what am I doing? I don't want to be here. Hold up. What am I doing? I'm so used to being Monster Ball, because I've been, I've been doing Monster Ball so much. What map were we just on? We were on Spillway, I believe. We'll hop onto another Spillway. That's Steam Fortress. Anyway, I don't like their cooking. They don't like cooking. It's okay. It, it's fine. I cook for myself half the time, and I like that cooking. It's fine. It's okay. It's not, it's not a problem. I'm not mad at it. But we decided on chicken and waffles. And uh, I was like, okay, yeah, like I'll, I'll cook the chicken. My sister will do the waffles because she's a... Uh, she makes waffles like all the time. She makes pretty good waffles, so you know that's good. I'll uh, I'll fry the chicken and uh, make the breading and all that, and uh, like dessert and all that. And, like I'll I'll make it. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Like I like cooking. It's okay. And then, well, you can't cook for your own dinner. Like, I just I like cooking though. I'm I'm happy to do it. I would I would enjoy it. Um. So I'm very I'm very concerned about the uh, the dinner. And I'm not. I am the kind of person. Who will who will turn down goodwill? Okay, I am I am absolutely the kind of person who like you know if, if you if your intentions were good but your execution was bad, I'm sorry. I appreciate it, but like I'm not gonna eat your food because it tastes bad. Okay. Um. Like it's just I don't I don't know. Like a lot of people would be like, oh well, you have to you have to accept it. You know they put time and energy into making. Like no, you get you eat it. I'll, I'll do my own thing. It's fine. I, I appreciate it. I do, genuinely. I do. I'm, I'm just not going to eat it because it's not good. Um, if you're going to throw it out, like, stick it in the fridge. I'll, I'll, I'll munch on it for, like, lunch tomorrow or something so it doesn't get thrown out. But, like, I, I want I want something yummy for right now. You know what I mean? Um, so, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm very, very, very concerned about the, uh, the dinner coming up. I might have to go and buy... Uh, Buy some groceries just so that I can make sure that uh, it doesn't turn out very well. I'm able to, to make my own because I might have to, depending on, on how well they do it. I don't know. I don't uh, I don't trust my mother to be able to deep fry anything, honestly. She asked for a recipe. I'm like, I don't know. You dredge it in a kind of spicy-ish dredge and then you fry it. Like, I don't know what, what part you need a you need a recipe for. <laughs> like, uh, where's the where's where's the recipe involved? You take some some flour and a little bit of uh, I don't know, cayenne pepper or something. Stick it in there and mix it up. Coat the uh, coat the chicken with it. I don't know, throw in an egg wash or something maybe. Buttermilk thingy or something. I don't know. And uh, then fry. It. Then you're you're good. You're done. That's it. Problem solved. You know. I got. You don't need a recipe. So uh, I, didn't, I didn't give her a recipe. So I'm like I don't know what recipe you followed. Like I don't even know what I'd do. I'd, I'd, I'd sit there in front of the bowl and be like, well, what are we going to throw on? This sounds good, this sounds good, this sounds good. And then there's your, there's your recipe, you know? So, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm mildly concerned about it. I am mildly concerned about it. Not in the, not to the extent where it's like, I don't know. You know, I wanted a red limousine. Why would you give me a, oh, not a limousine. I wanted a red Mustang. You got me a blue one. Why do you hate me? No. Like, I, I, I'd appreciate it, but... And if you got me a red Mustang, I would be very mad. <laughs> because what I wanted was chicken and waffles. And uh, that's not even close. I would be very mad if you got me a... And that's the other thing, is that... Uh, you know, on uh, on Reddit and stuff, people are like... Uh, you know, somebody would be like, My dad got me a Mustang for my birthday. Like, what the hell? And people are like, He got you a Mustang. Why are you mad? I don't know why I'd be mad if my dad got me a Mustang. What, what am I supposed to do with a Mustang? <laughs> what do you want me to do with it? I can't. I can't really drive it. Um, I can't afford to use it. Uh, I can't, you know, insure it. Um, 
I have no desire to take it somewhere and then sell it. Uh, you know, I'll take it to a restaurant and then see if they'll accept it for in exchange for some chicken and waffles. That sounds good. <laughs> I don't know. It's just if it's not what you wanted. It's not what you wanted. You know, if they're like, yeah, I'll get you this. This is what you're gonna like more. It's like I just, I just, I, I don't want that though. It's not what I wanted. And uh, I don't even like presents. I don't accept presents. Um, I will turn them down if people give them to me. Other than my uh, my grandparents on my mother's side, they're like, you know, actually, literally have dementia. And, uh, like, they have all sorts of problems. So if they're going to give me presents or if they're going to give me anything, I'm just like, yeah, okay. I'm not going to turn it down. This is this is what you have accepted. This is this is what you wanted to do. This, I'm okay with this. If they try to give me, like, presents again, I'm like, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. You know, but... Um, I don't know if they'll even do it now because, I don't know, they might not even remember that it's my birthday, which is what happens often, too. Um... Which is which is fine, but I'll be visiting them because I just I want to. Um, but other other than that, like I just I don't accept presents, and I I'd, I'd prefer not to accept presents from them as well. But you know, can't really get away from that one. <laughs> so, uh, but I don't accept presents. I don't like them. I think that the uh, to me it just feels like an obligation more than anything else. Um, you know, it's like oh well, it's your birthday. I gotta get you a present. Or it's like it's Christmas. Time to go shopping for your presents for everybody, and then everybody gets each other presents, and it's just. It's a big waste of everybody's money. Everybody is wasting money. And to me, I'm just like, you know what? You keep your money. You you keep all of the money that you... Because you look, you look at how much money you're spending on people's presents, right? Like, well, yeah, I don't know. I do like a $10 limit. Okay, how many people are you buying presents for? There's like, you know, 10? 20? 20, 10, 20 people that you're buying presents for? That's like 100, 200 bucks. Total. Right? If everybody's, uh, if everybody's spending 100 bucks, 200 bucks, you know, we'll say 150 bucks on, uh, on presents for Christmas each year that, uh, that people are spending money on. All right, and that's, I feel, a low estimate. I feel like that's a, a pretty low estimate that people are spending on, uh, on presents for Christmas each year. Total, for everybody. Not just for one person, but, you know, for all of the Christmas presents you buy, uh, you know, this year. How much money are you going to spend? How much, how much money total for every present you buy? You know, your entire Christmas bill. You know how much? How much is that? Uh, I'm guessing probably more than 150 bucks. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go with 150 as the as the estimation here, right? So anyway, you get uh, you get 150 bucks, right? And uh, yeah, you buy something for somebody. And you're not even sure if it's really what they want. You're just like, oh, I think that they would love this. Oh yeah, this would be great. This would be, they'd love this. You know, but you don't you don't know for sure. You can't you can't ask them. You can't make sure it's what they want, so you make sure you give it with a return receipt, and then they're like, oh, I don't really want to go return it, because, you know, so-and-so gave it to me, and... It's like, just everybody keep their 150 bucks. Everybody go out and spend the money on themselves and get what you want. Now, everybody has the best Christmas present they possibly could have got within the budget, and everybody's Christmas present is more expensive. <laughs> it's just a more efficient use of money, and everybody gets to, to do what they want and have fun. You know, you can go out and... You know, you can go spend it on summer and take a nice vacation summer, or you know, save up a few Christmas monies worth. Uh, but I don't know. I just, yeah, you know, and that's just Christmas. You know, how many, how much money are you spending on um, birthdays? How much money are you spending on anniversaries and Easter's and you know, Thanksgiving? How much, how much money are you spending on on all of these holidays that that uh, for some reason we have to, we have to give our money to somebody else. Somebody else who's not in need, I would like to add. You know, we don't. It's not. It's not like you know. Oh, for Thanksgiving, you know, you have to. You have to go out and donate your money to a food shelter. No, no, no. It's like for Thanksgiving, you have to give your. You have to give your uh, your money and your your wealth over to, to somebody who's uh, able to also reciprocate that with uh, with an equal gift. You know, pretty much. And I know that a lot of people out there are like, going out and giving money to people who are in need. And like that, I respect it. Like, I respect it. Highly, highly, highly respect it. Okay. Much respect. Um, like, that's not what it's about. Right? Like, it would be great if that was what it was about, but it's not. Right? And and that's why, you know, these people, you're, you're making a point to go out and do it. And I just, uh, I respect it. It's great. Good for you. You're great. You're a great person. Love it. Um, 
But like, it's it's about giving it to your friends and your family, and then making sure that you also get gifts from friends and family. You know, it's, it's all about the it's all about the getting stuff. You know, to me. And I just I don't uh, I don't like that part of it. And uh, it's like your know, anniversaries, your birthdays, your Christmases, your Thanksgiving, your whatever other holidays, your Kwanzas, your Hanukkahs, you know, whatever else. You know, you got gifts that you have to give to people. You got obligation to give people your gift or else you're the bad person. You're the, you're the bad person. You're the cheapskate. And I'm like, I'm feeling generous. no. Everybody keep your money. Spend it on yourself. Everybody does better. If you're like, oh, but it's about giving. It's about, it's about giving and making other people feel like you're thinking about them. I don't know. Like, write them a card. Write them a, write them a card. That shows that you're thinking about them, but they're like, well, it's not the same. No, it is. It, it is. If, if the point is that you're thinking about them and that you did something for them, that is the same thing, but it's not. It's that you want presents. Um, sorry. Um, anyway, that's my ramble about uh, presents. I don't like presents. I don't do them. Yeah. It's a controversial thing. A lot of people really like presents. I just I don't like it. If you want to get me something because it's like you're out there shopping and you're like, oh, I know I know, I know Charlotte was looking for one of these. I'll pick it up. Then I'm like, dude, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Because it's not an obligation. You didn't have to do it. You were genuinely thinking about me. You, you didn't have to be reminded of me to do it. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? Kind of know what I mean? Like, like Christmas doesn't feel like it's about giving. It feels like it's about spending your money on uh, on consume. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye. Uh, bye bye.